I know Caribbean culture. In Trinidad, they call it horn. In you're getting horn, boy. In Jamaica, you're getting bun. I don't know what they call it in the other Caribbean islands, but we are a spicy kind of people. It ah, forget my squeaky chair. Welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host for the most. Listen, I found this video on social media, right, that I wanted to share and then give my opinion on it. I don't want to show the face of the individual for too long because I don't want somebody to come after I've done the video and say, take that video down because it has my image in it and I didn't give it permission to use it, whatever. But listen to it, right? I will briefly show the face of the individual, but I want you to listen to the story more than anything else and then I'll give my opinion. This video will be very short, but it's a video where somebody can learn from it. Watch this. My father is 54 years old and recently married a 35 year old that lives in Jamaica. And he's telling me he's building a house in Jamaica. He sends her money every week, but he got laid off from work and she's still expecting him to send money. And he's telling her, I can't send you money because I got laid off from work. I can't work right now. I can't send you money. And so she started threatening to divorce him. And he's like, well, if you're going to divorce me because I can't send you money, then divorce me then. And I think she's actually going through with it. And I'm sitting here and I'm laughing. He's like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know, she wants money and I'm not working. I'm like, what did you think a 35-year-old from another country was marrying you for? And he goes, well, I'm building a house in Jamaica and I've already put all this money into it. I'm like, yeah, and if she divorces you, how are you going to get possession of that house? You live in Canada, you work in Canada, like, unless that's in your name, and I don't think you were smart enough to do that. But this man really, like, no offense to him, but he really thought this 35-year-old woman <laughs> who he gets, who he sends money to every single week was marrying his dusty ass. Because I love my dad, but... My dad is a dusty. My dad didn't pay child support. My mom, or my mom struggled so much because of my father. Mom. And to sit back and listen to him not understand that he's not a good partner and she didn't marry him because he's this attractive 54-year-old man. He married him because he had money and she wanted money and he was willing to give money. And now that he's... <laughs> okay. Okay, so if you didn't hear it well, right? This is a Caucasian female from Canada and she basically said that her dad was never a father that was there for her. Her mom struggled so much. Um, her dad didn't pay child support, didn't do any of that and now he is 55 years old and she's all grown up and she is watching him go through his midlife crisis. He went to Jamaica and he married a girl in Jamaica or a young woman in Jamaica who is 35 years old and he's 55 years old. Okay, that's um, 20 years age difference. Usually, honestly, in Jamaica, that's not really a big of an age difference for the culture. You know what I mean? But you have to be somebody that's there. You, you, can't, you can't be 55, a foreigner. You're not even Jamaican, you are a foreigner. So let me tell you what your dad is. Your dad is what we call the Yam Root. Yeah, Yam Root. He's not the Yam Head, he's the Yam Root. He's the root of the Yam. Meaning, he's a clown. Gal clown. Yeah, he's a, he's a, not only is he a gal clown, he is what we call boopsie. He's, he's a boopsie, right? See a fool, use a fool. Listen, man. And then she said he's building a house in Jamaica and he's bragging about it. He was like, I send her money every week, but I can't send her money because I lost my job. And now she's saying if I can't send money, she's filing for a divorce. And she's actually going through with filing for the divorce. Y'all hold up her time, brother. Y'all take up space. She'll file for a divorce. Some other foreigner need to be sitting in that place that you were occupying, but you run out of payments. You know, like when you play in them slot machines and you run out, when you run out of quarters, your time is done. Move out the way. Let somebody else who has quarters <laughs> keep playing the game. That is all it is. Um, I speak about this all the time. A couple of things here that I speak about all the time. For one, it's like this. I would never, ever leave my woman in a Caribbean island by herself and still tell myself, that that is my woman. No, that is our woman. You, you, you are sharing her. Why? Because I know Caribbean culture. Not just Jamaica. I know Caribbean culture. In Trinidad, they call it horn. In you're getting horn, boy. In Jamaica, you're getting bun. I don't know what they call it in the other Caribbean islands. 
but we are a spicy kind of people. It's all the spices in the food and all that <laughs> and all that grung provisions food, the yam, the dasheen, the cocoa, the breadfruit, the aki, the green banana boiled dung with the run dung, yeah, and all that, uh, all that going to your back, mate. And when it goes into your back, the woman wants something, the man them want something. Everybody basically walk around, and I'm not trying to over-sexualize or make us feel seem funny, but everybody walk around uh, feeling like, you know, saying them could teeth a little piece, or uh, look for that girl that she look good, I wouldn't mind, handle that, yeah? <laughs> Bruise up your front, mama, them kind of things. So, and Jamaican men are extremely forward. All right, when they see your woman, they don't even care if it's your woman. The first thing they say to them is, yo, what, babes? Psst. And if she ever be brave enough to be, like, silent, then run her down till she speak. And then if she ever speaks and say something like, listen, I'm married and I'm not interested in you, the first thing that comes out of our mouth is, I'm not asking about your husband, meaning I'm not asking you about your husband. Why are you telling me about your husband? I don't care if you married or a boyfriend or, you know, um, friends with benefits with a next man or something. Me want some of what I see in front of me. Yeah, and that way I deal with that. That's how the pre is. So I'm um, talk to me nice stuff. Yeah, that's how we are. And we're just, I don't know why God make me like that, but we're just like that, right? Somebody could have told her dad something else with some sense. Then, she said, he's building a house in Jamaica. You're married and probably didn't have the sense to put the house in your name. I don't know anybody who could be more dumber. And then she's getting divorced from you and you are not Jamaican and you only visit Jamaica. Um, Listen, you're probably just building her a house. Yeah, you're not building, <laughs> you're not building you a house. You're building her a house. You build a house for her and her new man. That's how that's gonna go. She probably I don't know if she have kids or nothing, but you're, you're you're yeah you're giving her a house. That's what that is. So the last part that I always speak of and it bugs me out to see guys hit fifty and up and start thinking that out of the blue you meet some twenty years thirty years younger person and this person loves you for you y'all have no history together you don't have no kids together no no nothing even even those that come into your life and give you kids they give you kids with a end result in mind meaning i've seen way younger women have made sure that they have children for a much older man and they don't go after a bum, much older man. They don't go after a much older man who is fine, his physique looks good, his body is ripped because he takes care of himself, but he is 55, and she's like, oh, he has a 35-year-old body. She don't go after him. She go after the bare belly, 50-year-old, 55, 60-year-old man who has money, right? He has a steady stream of income. He has a secured lifestyle. She sees all that. But, but she's probably not even ready for all that. For her, she's like, man, I'm still young. I still want to see what's out there. I still want to have fun. This is not all of them, but it's the majority of them. I still want to have fun. So, hey, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is clock in real quick. Follow me. I'm going to clock in real quick. I'm going to secure my funds for later, which is one baby, maybe two babies. Some of them go three and four babies. And they do it one, two, three, four, back-to-back -back years. If she is 22, by the time she is 26, 27, she done gave you all the kids. 27, she's still young as hell. Now, now she is going to focus on snapping it back getting her body back in shape, starting to politic, talk with, build with guys that are around her age group who still go out and party, who still, oh, we going to Miami for the weekend. Oh, yo, it's spring break. We headed to Cancun. She wants to be in the middle of the excitement, right? And your old ass sitting at home at 55, no disrespect, 55 is not old, but you and a 20-something-year-old are in two different lanes of life. You are on the side of life where it's like, you know when you hit the top of the hill and then you start going down the other side of the hill because you're like, okay, you're 55. I can guarantee you, you're probably not going to get another 55 years of healthy, vibrant years of life. So you are on the downside, my friend, right? 
55 is going to be 60 soon. It's going to be 65, 70. She 25, 26, 7. She chukka, chukka, chukka. She's coming up on the other side. So she's still got a lot to go before she hit that pinnacle and starts going down on the other side. This is how I explain it. So I tell men all the time, give only what you can afford to lose. Yeah, that way when she goes her way and you have to pay for her to go, oh, and believe me, you're going to pay. She, You got to pay for her to go her way. You're not hurt. A lot of guys give their heart and soul and their life savings, their finances depleted, and then she cut, she leave. In Jamaica, when we say cut, and it means you leave, you're gone. May I cut from around your son. She left, she gone. When she leave, I'm gone, right? Then that means you have nothing left. Some young girl does come and bops you out, took all your money, and gone about her business, and she gave you about three, four years of service, and you thought that was gonna be for life. Stop fooling yourself. Stop fooling yourself. Let me close this video by saying this. A brother said to me the other day, he said, he is in his 50s. And he said, yo, Soflo, it's hard as hell to find a woman that is in my age group, you know, to, 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 to build with. Because a lot of them, they're so damaged by the time they hit these kind of ages that you hear them out here saying all men are like this and all. They're bitter against men or... They just have a bag of man that they've ran through. If you just do the mathematics to it, like she started having sex at 17, 18. She's 52. She never stopped having sex and she binge switching out man. She's had multiple men. So that means she rev out. It's like a car that's a pretty car, but the car has been around the world, my friend, on a road trip. And the odometer says one million miles on it. I don't want that car. Because, you know, that's how he explained it. So he was like, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. But he would rather take a young chick and all the headaches that come with her, because a lot of excitement comes with her as well, than to go take an older woman and go through all the headaches with her and then... Nothing exciting else don't come from that. Hey, you know what I call that? I say choose your own poison. That's that. But for that young lady who just exposed her dad in Canada, tell your daddy say him I get chop. Okay? And here's what we call yam root. Yeah, yam root. <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the next video. It's Oplo TV. I'm out. <laughs> Peace. All right, my SoFlo TV audience, anybody who knows me knows that I come from the rural parts of Jamaica where it's dark in those hills. And from I was a child until now, government still has not installed any street lights in some of the darkest corners of Jamaica. But guess what? We are doing it for ourselves. Just link up with Suninka Limited because these solar powered street lights are powerful. They are commercial grade, remote controlled, they are waterproof, and did I mention that they are solar powered? So you don't have to wait on JPS, you don't have a bill to pay. These are powered by God's sun. Yes, and you stay on the ground and you remote control it to the brightness of your liking and all these things. Light up your lanes and streets and farms and corners and areas and be safe. All the information needed is on the screen and Soninka deals with your installation and everything. Call them right now and get yourself out of the darkness and into the light and tell them that SoFlo TV sent you. All right? All right. Um, may I show up? May I show you up? May I show you up? Come here, come here. All right, my SoFlo TV audience. Let's take a break for a second and let me promote Wifey's channel. A lot of people don't know I have a wife. And those who know I have a wife still don't know who my wife is. So they're asking, who is SoFlo's wife? Okay, I need you to go over to her channel and hit that subscribe button. She does hair, makeup, fashion, life vlogs, mommy vlogs, sponsored content, product reviews with codes that you can use to shop and get huge discounts and all that, you know, and her channel is probably more for the ladies, but there's something there for everyone. She used to be called Shakira Sphere. I mean, <laughs> she used to be called Brains in a Beat on youtube but she changed her name and after she changed her name i don't know what happened to her algorithms anyhow here she is hit that subscribe button when you go to her channel tell her 
your man sent me over here and vibe to her content. All right, let's get back to our scheduled program at hand. It's all nice and flaky, very flaky. When you make your cross, it have to be flaky like this. It all right, my SoFlo TV audience, listen. If you have not found out about this channel yet and subscribed to this channel and started following this channel called Eat Good TV, I suggest that you go do so now. I did not even know that sweet potatoes can make a punch. I did not know that bummies can make burgers. I have never had pineapple pork before. I'm not even that good of a pork eater. But after seeing this lady, Miss Margaret, over at Eat Good TV, do the pineapple pork, I tell you, say, I wanted to try the pineapple pork. Listen, man, she is setting the bar high, all right? And if you're into Jamaican food, I know you might be able to cook it already, but I guarantee you, you're not cooking it like she's cooking it. She is adding a twist to it. So, Miss Margaret, big up yourself over at Eat Good TV and So Flow TV audience. If you're seeing this, please go find Eat Good TV and click that link and tell her I sent you. All right, my So Flow TV audience, this channel is called Jamaica from the Outside. It's a YouTube channel that I want you to go over to and hit the subscribe button and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Jamaica from the outside. I'm sitting here watching some of the videos and they're covering farming overseas. Florida, USA to be specific. You see for the people in Florida, if you want to see where you can actually get fresh goat meat, I'm talking about them raise the goat, you know. They raise the goat and then you come and you pick which one you want and then them sort it out and quarter it up and these kind of things. Then there's a farm on here that has all kinds of fruits and vegetables and foods from Jamaica that are grown authentically from the ground up. No imported, no spray down with no chemicals, no nothing. And you can actually go right there. May I talk about like sour sap, sweet sap, kneesberry, all them something there and a whole heap of mango. So many mangoes. I didn't even know they had mango name with Kool-Aid name and fruit punch and all these things. But I'm just saying, pay attention to this channel, right? Jamaica from the outside, a wealth of information on it and you will not be disappointed in the content. Yes, they do um, videos out of Jamaica sometimes and cover special gems, places that you can also visit off the beaten path, places where maybe a lot of other people don't know about that are in Jamaica, but they also have, especially for my Floridians, pay attention. The channel name is Jamaica from the outside. Go over there, hit the subscribe button, engage the content, tell them that SoFlow TV send you, and I will see you over there. Me no know me already. I make my plans for going on one of these farms because me like my food authentic. Me like my food organic. Me like my food with no chemicals spray down on it and no mix up and grown um funny kind of way. So yeah, I'm paying attention to the goat farm. And I'm also paying attention to the farm that has the kneesberry them in it. Kneesberry! Kneesberry, you know? Grown off of the tree. Kneesberry. Go over there, man. Jamaica from the outside. Tell them SoFlo TV sent you. All right. Listen, it's 2024, okay? And the world is different. You can actually have a date with somebody in a completely different Caribbean country, say for instance, you are in Jamaica and you are looking for a fine Trinidadian woman or a woman from Grenada or Guyana or Antigua or Barbuda. Same thing for the women. You might be a Jamaican woman living in Jamaica, but you are into Trinidadian men or men from Barbados or other parts of the Caribbean. Well, look no further. 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time. Tune in as Scotch Bonnet and Time goes live on the channel called Scotch Bonnet and Time. It's a dating affair for the Caribbean audience, linking all the Caribbean countries together. The only requirements are that you are at least 
20 years old. That means you have two years of experience or more. And come on in and have some fun. Do you have what it takes to spice up somebody else's life? Let's see. See you there, 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time on the YouTube channel called Scotch Bonnet and Time as they go live. Come see if you can meet your special person. See you then. Oh, Floor TV. I'm my TV, that man. What is when the granny back foot a go on in ya? <laughs> Kiss me granny neck back. Oi! Hi, hello, hello. It's not yours. Put it down. If you never work feet, put it that if you are the people them things. So flow, so flow. <laughs> Come look on this. Yes, I made my own jerk sauce. Whether be it spicy, mild, or regular, my jerk is the best. It all right, my SoFlo TV audience, listen, I found a cooking channel here that I think is worth sharing with you. Shelly. Shelly is a Jamaican residing in the U.S. Her family and friends have encouraged her to pursue and showcase her passion, which is cooking. Her menu is mainly Jamaican, some mixed with other cultures. With a family background with hypertension, her meals are mostly exempt from salt and instead opt for salt free seasoning herbs and spices and other international seasonings that are used to come up with that jamaican taste all free of msg when i know too much salt and msg and them something there is a big killer among us right all right so please help us to help her to get there you know the drill Click the link, like, comment, share, subscribe to Shell's Island Flavor, where home-cooked meals are nutritious, healthy, and economical. And don't forget, tell Arce SoFlo TV sent you. So we got a couple of things going on on the channel. For one, shout out to the people who have their membership. If you have your membership for SoFlo TV, then you know that you are able to go in the chat section when we go live. Every time we go live, it's your privilege right also it's just another level of support so shout out to the people who have that for those who don't have it we encourage you to get your membership to the channel right on top of that there are other things going on over here as well like promotion so if you have a business whatever business it may be whether it's a brick and mortar business or it's a online business we can promote that business for you right here this channel gains about roughly a thousand new subscribers every 30 days 1000 new subscribers every 30 days we are now past 360,000 subscribers and counting so it's a good place for you to put your business before the eyes of the audience especially if your business has anything to do with the Caribbean right and reach out just reach out to us and we'll put something together for you I have packages that can fit everybody's budget and we can all get along if that's the if that's the word i'm supposed to use get along but everybody can eat our food basically right so again regardless of whatever your business is just remember that i do promotions over here on soflow tv so reach out let me get your package together whether you are a musician putting out a new project a album a single if you're on a tailor shop if you're on a restaurant if you run Whatever the case may be, if you're a DJ um, and you a disc jockey who play at parties, your services could be available, advertised here. Whatever the case may be, I got you. All right. And again, shout out to the people who subscribe to the channel every time you or hit the thumbs up every time you watch a video. And shout out to the people who are subscribed to the channel. Big up to the people them who come through and don't subscribe, but they watch the content anyways. You know, think of time for your subscribe now. Eh? You don't think it's time for you to subscribe now. A time for you to subscribe now, man. Hit the subscribe button right down there. So, yeah, and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlow TV.